Oh boy, everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome, welcome to the channel. And for today's video, we will be doing an unboxing of this Kyrie Infinity, and I'll be giving you my first impression. So let's go. Yes, you heard it right. I said Kyrie Infinity, or AKA the Kyrie 8. If you've seen the symbol of the infinity sign, of course, it is pretty much similar to the number 8. So that's why Nike made it the Kyrie 8 to be called Kyrie Infinity. And it is mentioned here in the box. So it's not Kyrie 8, it's Kyrie Infinity EP. So this is an EP version, Asia release version, or of course, with XDR rubber. So I'll just show you the XDR tag. It's around here, EP version, XDR tag. It's not a fake, it's just an EP version, all right? So here, before we talk about the sneakers, guys, let's talk about first the box of the Kyrie 8. Usually, Kyrie signature line always gives us very nice boxes. So this is another nice box from Nike, from the Kyrie line. So this one comes in a very red box. So Kyrie Kyrie on both sides of the ellipse. And of course the infinity sign or the number eight in the middle. And if you notice the box, there's some spot lamination there, which shows some symbols that you can see here on the lateral part of the box. So these are, I think, um, important symbols in Kyrie's life. Of course, the 1111, I know that's his number and everything that evolves around him has um, or is related to the number 11. So that's why they have that 1111. As for the AK, I think A stands for Azuri, the daughter of Kyrie, and K for Kyrie. And of course, 8. I'm not too sure about the other symbols. Let me know in the comments down below if you know the other symbols of Kyrie for all of you who are Kyrie fans. And on the other side, of course, the signature of Kyrie. So that's it on the box of the Kyries. Now let's go to the sneaker of the Kyrie. I'm giving you my honest opinion here. The first time that I saw the Kyrie 8 or the Kyrie Infinity, I wasn't too stoked about it. I wasn't too excited about the design, the aesthetics of the sneaker. But upon holding it right now, it kind of is slowly growing on me. Although it's still not on the top yet, I still like the design of the Kyrie 5, the Kyrie 6. Kyrie 7 was so-so, but the Kyrie 8, it honestly, it's kind of growing to me right now. The materials that they've used is far from the photo leaks that was given to us. The actual sneaker looks more clean and even on this blue camo colorway, it actually looks pretty good. The design of the Kyrie is slowly growing on me and I think maybe from time they will release more colorways of the Kyrie 8 or the Kyrie Infinity. Sure, they will look dope because Kyrie signature sneakers usually produces lots of awesome colorways. Now let's talk about the sneaker, the materials used in the sneaker. As for the upper of the Kyrie Infinity, it uses this mesh that is kind of fused from the forefoot to the midfoot part. So you can see here, plus there's extra fusing around here. This is just for aesthetics. And it stops here while on the back panel or the heel part of the sneaker, there's some leather here. I'm not too sure if this is the same material being used on all colorways of the Kyrie's, but with this specific blue camo colorway, they use some leathers here on the side panels of the heel, plus around the bottom of the laces, there's some straps here that crosses. It is made out of leather. And this lace loops here that acts as wings, they didn't use plastic. They just used the leather material, which I think is good. It feels comfortable in my initial try. And of course, there's two more straps here near the ankle part. So when you pull your laces up, it will kind of pull your foot down to the footbed and give you a better heel containment and ankle protection to the sneaker. The side panels or around the heel part or the ankle part is really soft. 
it's pretty much similar to the Kyrie 6. The Kyrie 5 was a lot stiffer around the ankle part, but with the Kyrie 6 and the Kyrie 7, the Kyrie 8s, it became a lot softer. And of course, mainly ankle protection is coming from the heel cup here, the heel containment. There's an internal piece here, and there's a leather on the outside material of the heel. So it cups your foot well. It's very nicely padded around the ankle and heel. Plus another thing that I really like about the Kyrie Infinity is the tongue part. It's really, really padded. It gives you a very 90s feel to the tongue of the Kyrie Infinity. Usually back in the 90s, the tongs are really, really padded. And I think they took inspiration in that and made the tongue of the Kyrie 8 or the Infinity really padded and it's really comfortable around your ankle when you really tighten up the laces. And as for the side part, you can see there's extra leather material here for durability. So when you're doing lateral movements, and of course, another thing that helps out in the lateral movements is the cushion part. It goes up and cradles your foot, while on the middle part, you can see the traction or the outsole going up and cradles and cups your foot there while around the back part or heel part of the sneaker. This is an interesting design. It has this flap here, so it's just mainly for aesthetics, but the cushion also goes up and cups your foot very well to the Kyrie Infinity. Now, of course, talking about the cushion of the Kyrie Infinity, which I was kind of surprised because I didn't do that much research on the Kyrie Infinity because of the design, I wasn't too interested but when I tried it on, initially I thought it just has a four foot zoom, like the zoom turbo found in the Kyrie 7 and the Kyrie 6. But immediately after trying them on, I felt the zoom struggle feel on the Kyrie Infinity. And my guess is right, it has a four foot zoom struggle. It's really nice, it's really plush. You can really feel the bounciness right off the box. I was jumping with it in the store while I was trying it out and it was bouncing the forefoot and it is comfortable. So forefoot zoom, you can immediately feel right off the box. While on the heel part or back part of the sneaker is another surprise to me because usually the Kairi line doesn't have that much cushioning around the heel part of the cushion. But with this one, I didn't know that they added a heel zoom unit here. It also says here, and it, you can see it through this window, there's an additional zoom unit there, although it's not zoom struggle, but at least there's a zoom unit there. And when I was trying it out here in my studio, I was doing some heel strike. And yes, I felt the zoom unit around the heel. Plus, I think another thing that helped it out is of course the Phylon. The Phylon carrier is very, very soft it compresses a lot. So impact protection around the heel is very nice. Plus there's bounce in the heel at long last Nike. Thank you for putting a zoom unit in the heel of the Kyrie's because that's usually my gripe on the Kyrie's. Usually the forefoot has a very nice zoom bounce to it, but on the heel impact protection is so-so. But with this one, impact protection is a little bit nicer. I think that's the main improvement on the Kyrie Infinity over the past Kyrie line. The cushion is really, really better on the Kyrie 8. As for the lateral part of the cushion, there's an extra plastic piece here, which is just for, I think, just for aesthetics. And it is written there that is Straubel Zoom. So that's another touch here in the design of the Kyrie Infinities. Now let's move on to the traction of the Kyrie's. It's pretty much similar to the Kyrie 7, Kyrie 6. Very similar to this one on the forefoot part, this crack, similar to the Kyrie Force. I think that's paying homage to the Kyrie Force. And I think the shape is the zoom struggle in the forefoot of the Kyrie's, which is pretty huge. That's why I really felt it right off the box. And there's the signature of Kyrie in the middle part of the outsole. Of course, the infinity sign around the heel plus the window where you can see that extra zoom unit. And as for the traction, guys, the traction is pretty much similar to the Kyrie 7. If you love the Kyrie 7's traction, 
which in my opinion was a pretty good traction. It was gripping really hard, squeaking at the same time. And when I was trying it out here, it was gripping really nicely on the floor. And I'll give you an update on the traction on the Kyries as soon as I played with them. But it looks very promising. The grooves are, I think, deeper compared to the Kyrie 7. But the rubber compound is a little bit softer. Hopefully it doesn't break, but I don't think it will. And there's enough spacing in between the traction pattern, which is good. So that won't pick up dust easily. And even on the heel part, it is very well spaced too. So I think the traction on the Kyrie's will be very similar to all its predecessors, which the Kyrie's pretty known have very good traction all throughout the years. As for the heel to toe transition of the Kyrie's, there's a very nice curve in the forefoot and even on the forefoot part, which is a signature shape of the Kyrie's where it kind of, it's not that flat. So it's a little bit rounded in the forefoot, but still wide. So it's still very stable in the forefoot. Plus you can shift easily when you're doing crossovers or doing lateral cuts or side steps. As for the sizing of the Kyrie Infinities, go through the size if you're a regular footer, half size up if you're a wide footer, or if you have the previous Kyrie Signature sneaker, go with the same size. So the Kyrie just came out here in the Philippines and the price for it is 7,100 pesos or around 140 US dollars. So the Kyrie Infinity's price point is very similar to the Kyrie 7 which is its predecessor so I'm not complaining anything about it since they added extra zoom unit in the heel of the cushion of the Kyrie Infinity's. So guys let me know what you think about the Kyrie Infinity's or the Kyrie 8's. Do you like them? Are they growing on you? like me hit me a comment down below let me know if you'll cop a pair i think i saw another colorway that is soon coming out on the kai infinities and it looks dope it's uh, like a beige colorway very much my style very much my alley but i have to cop this so that i can review it for you guys so i'll keep you posted guys after i played with this so this has been marches once again thank you for dropping by this channel i'll catch you in the next one Peace.